Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Truqueando channel. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And if you're a return subscriber, we appreciate your guys' support. Now guys, if you didn't check out the last video, the final shootout went down. We were at the Houston Raceway for the event. Huge shout out again to the guys from the On The Gas for taking care of us and having us out there. We had a badass time. Draco had a badass time. And guys, we put on a show. We had a little smoke show out there in the burnout pit. Se puso col madre el pedo. If you guys did not check out that video, I'm going to put it up here on the screen so you guys can check it out. Make sure, check out the video, check out the burnout pit, and let us know what you think about Draco putting on the smoke show. Se puso col madre el evento, guys. Like I said, we did a little smoke show out there, and pues, we still got Draco down for now. We're waiting on some new tires to come in, as well as some other little things that we're going to be doing on it because we got to get this thing ready for ATL. That is the next show that we're going to be taking Draco to. So if you guys are in the area, Atlanta Truck Invasion, se va a poner con madre. Make sure you go out there, check out the whips, check out the show, and do not miss out on the burnout pit. Se va a poner bueno, guys. Now, let me show you a little bit. If you guys missed out, I'm going to show you a little bit of Draco. Got the new wrap on there. If you guys did not check that out, we also have a video when we went to go get the wrap put on. Huge shout out to my boy, it's a wrap for getting it, getting it done. Pero, mira. I'm telling you guys, we put on a show out there. Le dimos hasta que tronaron las llantas. Mira. No trae nada. Puro ring. Sheesh. And, pues, of course, we messed up the wrap. So, no hay pedo. My boy is a wrap. Already hit us up. We're going to get this thing taken care of. Like I said, Atlanta Truck Invasion is the next show that we're going to be going out there with Draco. So, we're going to make sure we get this thing looking right so that we go to ATO looking fresh, looking good, and do another smoke show, guys. So, that poner bueno es madre, guys. Check out on this one, too. This one, too, man. Look at this. Quedaron puros alambres de afuera. Look at that. Fun this madre. Fun this madre, but we had a good time. We had a very good time. We put on a show, like I said, and appreciate everyone that was tagging us on Instagram. You guys seen the truck. You guys recognize it. You guys tagged us. You guys sent us videos. So, huge shout out to everyone that did that. And ATL, va a ser lo mismo, guys. So, y'all stay tuned for this one. It's going to be ready for ATL. But right now, guys, like the title says, we got the OBS on this side. We have not done anything to it since we got it. It's just been sitting out here chilling. It's time to make some changes. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is putting on some new wheels. We got this thing right after LST. Long start throwdown. We actually bought it at the show, brought it over here, and it's just been sitting. But look, this thing is nice, guys. It's a 1994 Chevy Silverado. It's got all new suspension, QA1 front and rear. This thing hasn't even been driven on, guys. This thing was spent time on one shop getting work done and went to another shop, got more work done. And everything is pretty much brand new. What's up, what's up? What up? Ready to put on the new wheels or what? Yeah, yeah. We gotta show them still. You haven't showed them? I haven't showed them yet. Check him out. Will pop the, the tailgate open. Huge shout out again to my boy Ivan from Fast Monkey Wheels. He's the one that got us taken care of with the with the wheels that we're gonna be putting on the OBS. Was well, enough talking about the wheels. Let's go ahead and check them out. Guys, so there they are, the new wheels for the OBS. We went with these weld wheels. They're 20 inch wheels by 10 and a half in the back and 20 inch by eight in the front. A fat 315 tire. You don't know must. It's a big ass tire for the back. This is good. The front has a thinner tire, which is perfect because we don't want no rubbing issues. So we're good with that. And then, since it does have a QA1 suspension, the coilovers, uh, we're gonna be adjusting it. We're gonna be going over with my boy Jonathan from Psychotic Concepts. Y vamos a darle una ajustadita. We wanna make sure it's, it's not tucking them, but it's really close to them and it has a nice stance. We have the liberty of doing those adjustments because of the suspension that it has. So that's what we're gonna be doing with it. Like I said, guys, those wheels were not the style that we were going for with this one. These wheels are they're gonna make it look a lot better. We're not gonna have no flats, right, Wayne? Mm, of course, man. Because those back tires have been flat since we got it. Fortunately, I think they're three pieces wheels so yeah. the three-piece wheels that tend to leak sometimes and they are leaking and it's a bitch to put air on them because the valve stem is por atrás and it's very uncomfortable so we've aired them up about two three times but the next day they're flat and we're just like you know what that's another reason to get rid of them right these new wheels are gonna make make them look badass they're gonna set the truck off a little bit more and then we got more upgrades coming up for us too so let's get these wheels put on and let's check out how it looks with the new wheels Once we put on the wheels, if it looks nice, we're still gonna probably adjust it, guys. 
That's the baddest thing about the QA1 suspension with the coilovers. Normal le damos vuelta los coilovers y se ajusta. I never done it, but it's a good thing we know John. He's gonna be taking care of that for us. Now we're able to see the brake. Hey, for real. Yeah. Because those other wheels will fucking all those spoke. They hide the bare brakes. The bare drilled and slotted or drilled uh, rotors. They're not slotted, are they? Nah, yeah, they are. Yeah, drilled yeah, and slotted rotors. But these wheels are gone and you can't even see them. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, con esto, we're going to have a black with a pinch of trouble. These calipers are black, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Black with red. I don't know. Maybe we can have those. Well, no, that, that matches this. Black and red. Oh, neta, we can see. Black and red. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. I was thinking about painting them white. Not the caliper, but like the bear. Yeah. To match this, but no, that looks, that looks the dope. Red, the red looks dope. Yeah, hey, pinche Edgar, tu si sabes, güey? Yeah. Tu si sabes. You gotta have eye for that shit. Hey, we get. <laughs> Alright, let's get these things swapped out. Y a ver qué. A ver qué rollo. We're gonna put on the rest of them on. We're gonna put the other three on real quick. It looks good, it looks nice. The only thing that we're thinking we're gonna have to be doing guys is changing that stud because that stud is a little too short. So we're gonna look into getting some new studs and some new lug nuts. But overall, mamalona. Sounds clean. We're looking up. <laughs> He's looking good. He's looking really good. That way. Hell yep. Oh, and guys, we did test out the new lug nuts. We're actually putting these on. So we're taking out the old ones and putting these. These are the old ones from Draco. So on Draco, we put on some black ones. We used to have these nice little chrome ones. We took them off and we put the all black. Same ones, just, just all black. We're gonna use these on the OBS. I mean, as we are talking about it, we don't know if to put these chrome ones or go black just like Draco. So let us know in the comment section below. I think chrome. And Edgar I think said, black. And Edgar said black. So let us know in the comment section below, guys, because we're going to order a new set. And we're in between those two colors. So. Sheesh. I get on, huh? Fuck yeah. And it's gonna have to go a lot lower in the front. Yeah. Maybe. For sure in the front though. Yeah, too. we're gonna have to go at least what two? Yeah, two in the front. Two to three inches in the front. And at least one in the back. Pues mira con madre, guys. Looks really mm -hmm. good. So guys, we're telling you about the lug nuts, right? We got the chrome ones all the way around, but we got one black one. And the black one we put it over here. Because we ran out of lug nuts. Uh we wanted to get rid of these all. Uh, those rusted and they just look like crap. So we put these on. This is how the black one looks. I think it looks, it looks okay. But the chrome ones stand out a little bit more. Yeah. But like I said, I like the chrome ones. Edgar likes the black ones. You guys let us know in the comment section below which one looks better so we can get the full set and make these things look right. I have all of them on. Cause right now there's only four per wheel. But wait, me con madre, wey. Fuck. What the pedo? That back though, thick ass tire. Dude, see what? Yeah. Uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the result. The wheel, get in metal flush with the fender, front and back, no sticking out. Hopefully no rubbing right now, I'm gonna turn it. Guys, the wheels make the truck look like a whole different truck. It came out clean, man. Those 315s in the back, se miran mamalones. Pero si hay que bajarla poquito. A little bit more. Right? In the front? 
in the front definitely in the front and the back it looks okay but like as i said maybe another inch way maybe an inch maybe another inch yeah. in the back we'll drop the front see how it looks and then if we need to do the back we'll do a little bit more total que se mire mamalona guys we want this thing to look nice because it's going to be the new shop truck we're going to be going picking up parts going around just driving it as a as a shop truck it just the lining was our shop truck now the lining is gone now we got to get another shop truck so the obs is going to be taking its spot and guys do not forget, Tikio G5 launch is live right now. You guys can get in for a chance to win our new giveaway truck. We're releasing that truck this Friday, so make sure you guys take advantage of the launch week because it's 20 times the entries right now. Yeah, so right now it's launch week. For every $10 you spend, you're gonna get 20 times the entry. The launch week ends Friday whenever we announce the truck, and then starting then, every $10 you spend will be one entry, right? Yeah, yeah. So it'll go back down to, to normal, every $10 is one entry. Yeah. Yeah. And then stay tuned. We might be throwing some some entry multipliers here and there. So y'all make sure to subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Tolpedo. We're going to be dropping, you know what I mean? The multipliers will be announced through there and also on the email. So if you haven't subscribed with your email on our website, you can do that as well. And the mobile app way. And the oh, mobile and app. the mobile app. Don't forget about the mobile app. Yeah, See, the I mo we had the mobile app is totally free, guys. You guys go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. You download Troqueando, the app. You first download it. It's going to ask you to allow notifications. You press allow. And then we're randomly going to be doing uh, multipliers there for a chance to get more entries while you still shop for the same things that you were going to shop initially. So do not miss out, guys. The mobile app is totally free. And the shopping experience there is way better than just going online. A lot of people like it. So that's why we have it. So mobile app the emails instagram youtube guys stay connected get your merch get the drip get the entries because tikio g5 could be yours and again we're announcing it this friday but right now in honor of the launch week we get 20 tons of entries so shop right now at get the drip get the entries and good luck and see what truck is the next giveaway truck but it's not gonna be this one all uh, right <laughs> we got new wheels on it it looks i don't know this is a bad no, truck, right? It's a shop clean. truck right there. It's gonna be the new shop truck. We got a lot more work to do to this truck, guys. We're gonna be doing, the front bumper has to go. I don't like the front bumper. Now this is a 1994. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. The front bumper, the front grill, the headlights. Uh, these are all right. I think it had a little LED strip that way. Yeah, it has a little LED yeah. strip here. But that one's broken, so we're gonna have to get some yeah. new ones. So I don't know if to get the same ones or get just some clear ones. I don't know. I'm gonna shop around, see what looks best. but. The back ones are new, right? There's, the taillights? Yeah, the back taillights are somewhat new. Yeah, they're yeah, like these. They're, they're somewhat new, so these might stay for now. What has to go is this rope pen. Hey, yeah. That rope pen has to go. Va a ser un bumper, mamalón. And these, pues, también está quebrada. This is broken, but it might do for now. Once we put the bumper on there, once we do the third brake light, it has to go too. Mm -hmm. And the interior, guys. Este pedo, le una buena limpiada. I need to go get the dash. I need to try to find one. If you guys know anywhere I can get it. And another thing too. So this truck had the maroon interior. So this is the color. The color of the interior originally, right? But I don't know if I should put the dash this color or try to get the gray one. Like the, the dark gray like that or what? Yeah, like it'll be a dark gray. Cause it has a lot of badass accents in maroon. Yeah. So I might have to do the maroon one. I just don't want it to look too, I don't know, too weird. Mm -hmm. But it's in between the maroon or the gray one. So I'm gonna shop around and see if I can find that. If you guys missed out on the video where we picked up this truck, check out the engine on this. It's a little dirty, but it's, little dirty. It's, it's nice. It's got, what the fuck? I know, bro. Some damn cat or something got up on it. <laughs> just got those good, man. No one in chicles. But yeah, guys, it's got the 5.3. I don't know as far as all the mods that it has on there. It was already done like this, so I don't know what all mods it has. But it's got the 5-Tech intake, uh, it's got the 5-Tech Ultimate LS uh, engine harness. So this thing is a complete LS swap. Might have felt that like a filter now? Yeah, we, but we're gonna have to make something here. <clears throat> Get a badass little intake, maybe a custom made one, mm -hmm. or find something, maybe just put a little conito right here for the meantime. Yeah. But it would be kind of dope to get a, a nice, like maybe a like a one. like an aluminum, kind of like how Draco has it, yeah. where it's welded. Weld it this way, maybe, and put the like a little intake mm -hmm. box here. Mm -hmm. Or over there, it don't matter where, yeah. R.I.P. So the 22s. We'll have to go to the storage real quick, because we don't have no space for them here. And I don't want them to go bad. Well, man, they're already bad, but I don't want to just have to jump around.
Honestly, it drives like a dream. It drives really good. Smooth as fuck. Smooth. Smooth. It looks good. Hay que bajarla nomás. Es el único pedo. Una buena lavadita, moroleada. A little bit more drop. Set. There we go. And a dash. And a dash. Oh. Hey, what? I hate airbags. Why? It takes too long? It takes too long. If someone's chasing me and this is the only fucking truck I got, I gotta wait for that bitch to air up. I'm gonna get it running right. Take care of all the air leaks. Do some uh, paint and body work. And some other little things here and there. Para que nomás salga abajo, prendela, and move. So, got a little plans. I got a lot of plans for this one too, guys, this year. So, you guys stay tuned. Make sure. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button below. Guys, we've noticed. About 60% of you guys that watch the videos are not subscribed. Guys, it's free. Hit that subscribe button, right, Edgar? There you go. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe, hit that bell notification. You guys stay up to date with all things coming out on the Trocano channel. If you guys like it, hit that like. If you guys have an opinion, drop a comment. We keep on going, guys. We gotta, we gotta grow the channel to the next level, and you guys can help us by hitting that subscribe. That's it. You guys already follow us on Instagram, follow us on YouTube. See you fast. See you fast. Got a lot more content coming up. Like I said, ATO is going to go down on May 6th, on Saturday. Actually, May 5th is my birthday. The big 3-0, turning 30. So that Friday, we're going to be headed over to ATO. And Saturday, we're going to be out there in the show, having a good time. You know, we'll come back. At the end of the month, we're going to be going to Bandas y Trocas in Fort Worth, también. Going out there with Draco and having a badass time. So if you guys are in the areas and y'all want to swing by the booth, cop the drip so you guys can get the entries for TKO G5, y'all more than welcome to come out, say what's up, get the drip, you know, have a good time. So guys, and in between those two shows, there's on May 20th, it's a Saturday, in the Valley, RGV, the 956, we're going to be out there at the High Rollers Get Down. So you guys make sure you go out there if you guys in the in the, in the Valley area. Allá vamos a andar también, we're going to be taking the giveaway truck, probably the OG, and as well as Draco. Uh, that's the plan to go out there. They're gonna have a burnout pit too, so we're gonna go out there and have some fun. They're gonna be having a, a car show, the burnout pit, and some other little cool contests going on there. So if you guys are in the valley, May 20th. All right, so this thing already finished charging up, bro. Let's see if uh, if it goes up. The cool thing about AccuWare on this thing, I can control it from my phone, you know? Caliente. Here it up. you guys checking out the YouTube channel subscribing if you subscribe and if you did not make sure you hit that subscribe button below like I said we got TKO G5 the launch week is live now and then this Friday we're gonna be announcing what truck it is but right now we have 20 times the entries on everything you buy at trocano.com it's live right now and it's going to someone that watches our YouTube channel or supports us on Instagram or any of our platforms so you can be the next winner just like our last winner which was Stephanie from California she took the badass SVT Lightning, and you can be next and be taking home the next giveaway truck. So, hit that subscribe, hit that like, and drop a comment below what you guys think on the OBS with the new weld wheels. These things look fresh, they look nice. The next thing is, we're gonna be dropping them more and making it look even better. So, do not miss out on that content. Hit that subscribe, we'll catch you guys in the next one.